Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, fresh off the EPS truck, we've got the Beast Board Mini. It's a hub motor board. I think it's the first video that we've got up on the internet for it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if the weather gets better, I'll take it out for a ride today and I'll do a first impressions video as well. But other than that, let's get into it. Here she is. Um, it feels a bit heavier than the 6.8 kilos that they say on the website. So for the review, I'll definitely have to check that out. I don't have a scale on me now. Nice and wide foot area for the deck. Um, it's 31 inches long and decent bit of rise here. It's got a slight concave, uh, nothing too major, but looks like it should be comfortable enough. First impressions of the wheels, obviously, they are a, a 105 cloud wheel clone sort of thing. Um, I'm yet to try any wheels that are a clone of the 105 clouds, but I do have a pair to compare them to. The first impressions, they look really slippery looking, so I won't be taking those for a ride on the wet surface outside at the moment, but hopefully once they get a little bit of asphalt, they'll grit up a little bit. So. I'll definitely keep an eye on those. So 65mm width on these wheels, so should be really comfortable hopefully. And the hub motors are quoted at 1000 watts, so uh, sounds like they got plenty of juice. Happy to test those out. Looks like pretty stock standard reverse uh, kingpin trucks on here. We've got the new Smart Esk as well, and the battery is a 12S 3P uh, 260 watt hours. So, as a package for that price range, it's $499 at the moment. It's coming in a pretty good value. Uh, as long as it backs everything up, I'd say it's, it's a real contender at the, the best budget board, mini board sort of range here. So feeling the um, plastic, the enclosure feels the same as the other beast board I've got, the Viper. Fairly decent build quality on the plastic here, not the best, uh, certainly not the worst either. So the deck is apparently seven uh, layers of Canadian maple. I don't expect it to be too flexy, I uh, don't really want that in a short board like this anyway. And you may uh, see it sits quite high. There is quite a significant riser in the front and back there. I'll get a little zoom in for you so you can see that. Yeah, overall build quality really good. No issues on the grip tape. Uh, the grip tape feels pretty good. And let's check out what's in the rest of the box. So we've got standard T-tool and a couple of Allen keys there to get off the hub motors presumably if you need replacement power port there and a charging cable for the um, remote USB-C which is good to see so we've got a standard 2.5 amp charger as we've seen on the products before and lastly we've got the standard Hobbywing uh, remote I noticed this one is unbranded, which is unfortunate. It's always handy to have the, the branding there. Um, if you have multiple boards, you know which one's linked up to uh, which esque. So it's a little bit annoying, but we'll live. So having a little look at these enclosures here, they've got some sort of foam padding, uh, presumably to stop vibrations and make it a little bit more comfortable of a ride. However, that's probably going to absorb moisture if you're riding in the wet, so I wouldn't consider this waterproof or watertight. wouldn't be riding on the uh, wet terrain with these wheels anyway, but just something to keep an eye out for. 0.3 on the odometer kilometers, which is a good sign. Uh, it means they'd probably test to make sure that it's working before they've sent it out. Um, you don't always see that, so that's cool. 
All right, that's a wrap. Super keen to get this one out and have a ride. If you liked it, give it a like, uh, subscribe, that would help me out. And my next video is gonna be a first impressions video, so check that one out too, thanks.